us will lift our hands before you as a token of our love. Holy, 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 ah, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. As we lift our voice before you, as a token of our love, holy, 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 holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, baby Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Brethren, I just want you to start worshiping the name of God before we just share the word together. Lift up your voice in thanksgiving to the Most High God. Tell him, Father, I just worship you. I have no one else to worship. I have no one else to thank. I have no one else to praise. I have no one else to worship. I have no one else to give all glory unto. Only you, O Lord, are worthy of my thanksgiving. Only you, Only Lord, you. are worthy of my praises. my praises. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I worship you. Jesus, I magnify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Once again, I thank the Lord for the grace we have to come together to pray. By the grace of God, the Lord has been doing great things when we have this kind of prayers. And I know that this time isn't going to be a time that will be impossible for God to do things because there is no impossibility with God. And to you that you are there, that is the part of this program, I pray for you that the Almighty God will you do something in your life that will make you to marvel in the mighty name of Jesus. He will do something in your life that will make you to marvel that, yes, our God is still alive in the mighty name of Jesus. It's time to listen and share the word of God briefly, very briefly, I mean. So let's just uh, have a word of prayer together because everything we do must be anchored on the Holy Scriptures. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your name for the opportunity of prayer. Your word says, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Lord, I pray that as we ask in your name in prayer today, being guided and led of the Spirit to pray some prayers, Holy Spirit, you will take us to the level where our voices will be recognized in heaven and will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in this prayer program. Take everyone out of the realms that are beyond uh, that, that we have presently. Take us to the eye realm where we can operate very high in the spirit of prayer and in the realms of the spirit in Jesus' name. I command every spirit, every soul, and everybody under the administration of this word to leave the realms that are low to high realms where everyone will connect directly with the throne room in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
upon Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Briefly, I just want us to uh, take, uh, a, 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 we will do more of prayer tonight, by God's grace. Maybe next month we can do more of explanation and uh, but tonight. Let me just anchor this prayer on this passage of the Bible in Psalm 127. Psalm 127, so, so, sorry, Psalm 128, 128. I read from uh, verse 1, and I jump to verse 3, and I think I will end in verse 4. It says in verse 1, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. Verse 3, thy wife shall be a, a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. And finally, verse 4, behold that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Yeah, you may not uh, have the Bible with you to have read along, but as I read, I believe you listened. Verse 1 talks about the fear of the Lord. Verse 3 talks about marriage, and uh, verse 4 confirms the blessings. Now, verse 4 talks about the blessedness of the fear of God. Verse 3 talks about the blessing of marriage. And then verse 4 talks about the confirmation of other blessings. That is blessedness and confirmation. So, you see, it is a blessing for one to fear God. Some people have thought that fear of God is a minus. It, it isn't a minus. Some people have thought that the fear of the Lord is uh, is making them to lose. It, is, it does not account to any loss. You can't fear the Lord and be at loss. If at all you lose anything, it will be things that are not helpful things like anger things like sin things like unrighteousness those are the things you lose then if at all you lose anything that you feel is good for you whatsoever you lose definitely there are things that are not worth holding on to there are things that are not worth holding on to when you fear the lord then the lord has a way of also blessing you because blessed is the man Blessed is the woman, blessed is the brother, blessed is everyone. That's what the Bible says in verse 1. Blessed is everyone. And everyone includes a child, it includes a mother, a father, a teenager, a young man, a young woman, an old man, a widow, a widower, a single, a married. It includes everyone. It said everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. I pray for you, everything depriving you of the blessedness that attaches to the fear of the Lord, that is just a, that is just a concomitant effect of that fear, that is a natural, a natural follow of that blessing, a natural follow of that bless, of, of that fear of God. I pray everything denying you, that thing today, will lose his power in your life in Jesus' name from today. The blessedness mm -hmm. of the fear of God will permanently attach to your life and everything about you in Jesus' name. Now, verse 3 tells about mm -hmm. the wife that will be fruitful. Every sister here, by the power in the name of Jesus, you shall be fruitful. I said you shall be fruitful. Yeah, he said, thy wife shall be fine by the sides of thy house. What of the brothers? Every brother here, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Now, you see, fruitfulness is about giving birth to children. That's a factor of fruitfulness. But beyond giving birth to, fruit, to children, someone can give birth to children but will not be fruitful spiritually. Some people can give birth to children but they will not be fruitful ministerially. They will have ministry that God has given to them, or their ministry will be languishing and be suffering. That's not fruitfulness. So fruitfulness cuts across everything that you do. But here is the 
biblical prophecy that is declared upon every life that fears the Lord. Said, thy wife shall be a, a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Therefore, everyone here, by the power in the name of Jesus, you shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. That thy children, like olive plants, round about thy table. That means that your children too will not be let out of the blessedness of God. You see, I thank God so much for fathers and mothers that anchor the life and destiny of their children on prayer and on the almighty God. They have spent their life, I mean, a large portion of their prayer, of their prayer life, committing their children to God, breaking every stubborn spirit that may want to have hold on those children, that may, every power that may want to direct them to a destiny of destruction. They have spent time to pray for those children. And then many of those children do a time in life might be that they didn't get it right because of so many things in life, maybe because of youthful exuberance, because of teenage influences, because of peer pressure and all of that. But along the line, because there is a God in heaven that answers prayer when men, wherever men care to pray to him, God has realigned the destiny of those children to his proper plan and purpose for their lives. And eventually those children are doing great. I am praying for everybody in this program that by the power in the name of Jesus, our destiny will not be lost in Jesus' name. And every children that uh, every child that has been prayed for by godly parents, and it's as if those prayers are not working on them. From today, I decree that those prayers will start to manifest in Jesus' name. They will start to work in the mighty name of Jesus. You see here, he said that even the children, they will, they will be like olive plants around about your table. There is blessing for the children. And I want to take it to every parent here because I'm aware that there are parents on this platform. After all, by God's grace, I'm also a member of the group and I'm a parent. And after all, the, uh, the, the, the most of the moderators too are married people and probably their parents too. So, I want to challenge you, do not for any reason be tired of praying for your children. Make it every a time to time affair. You see, place their life on the altar of God. Sacrifice them to God every now and then. Let them be totally lost for Jesus. And call their destiny on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make them a gift to the Almighty, a sacrifice, a living sacrifice, I should say, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not cease to pray for them, like Samuel. Samuel told the children, I said, I will not cease, I will not stop to pray for you. So always, every time, pray for them. And those of us that are still single, when the time begins to give you your children, I pray that by the power of God, those children they will be children of joy and gladness in Jesus' name. They will not bring frustration to you because you will marry. You know, the theme of this program is let them marry. And I'm still coming there briefly. Let me even reach there now because that verse 3 says, thy wife shall be a fruitful wife. That means that you shall have a wife. That's to the brothers. And then that suggests also that the sisters shall be wives. That's why I say thy wife. That means that you will marry if you're a brother. He said, thy wife. That means if you're a single person, you are going to become a wife. Raise up your right hand and receive this prophecy into your life. If you are not yet married, I prophesy into your life by the power that consists and that exists in the name of Jesus. You will marry and marry a right in joy in Jesus' name. You see, it says thy wife. That means you shall be a wife. Uh -huh. It also says thy wife. That means that if you're a man, you're going to have a wife. It says thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine and thy children like olive tree. Let me conclude as we go into the moment of prayer with verse 4. It said, Behold, that thou shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. And when he says man there, I believe it's generic. It's not only talking about male folks 
It's also talking about women, just like it says in verse one, blessed is everyone. So it's talking about everyone. So it's, if I can substitute that, that man for everyone, I will see in verse four that behold that thus shall everyone be blessed that feareth the Lord. So if you fear the Lord, do not despair. Maybe you are tired of praying and you are wondering, I prayed all the kind of prayers I should pray. For me to get married, that is not working out. Maybe you are there, you have, you have, they've told you about all the P, patient prayer, patience and the pastors, tests and all that. You have gone to pastors to discuss your test, your, your, your case with them. Maybe they've, they've counseled you, they've prayed for you and all of that. They said there is patience test. You have tried to be patient so that you can marry the right husband. You can marry the right wife. In fact, as it is now, you are tired of waiting. You are tired of patience. You just want something to happen. I want to assure you that the Bible says here, blessed is it? The, those shall the man, those shall the woman, those shall the brother, the sister be blessed that fear the Lord. You will be blessed with a wife. You will be blessed with a husband, not just a wife, not just a husband, but the one that God has made for you from eternity past. You will locate the bone of your bone in yeah. Jesus' name. You will locate the bone of your bone in the mighty, you, the, the flesh of your flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. So now you see, as we want to pray, this place where we read told us, said, blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord. If we will see it in the New Testament language, we can say blessed is everyone that is born again. Blessed is everyone that is converted. Blessed is them that has given his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are there, you know about Christ. You can tell about Christ. You've read a lot about the Bible, but there is no evidence of genuine salvation in your life as we thus speak. Probably you've had it before, and uh, that's what you are banking on. But you know your hands are now into some things that when you were genuinely converted, you dare not touch. But now you could touch them, you could play with them. Uh, you cannot be blessed like the person that fears the Lord. You can't be blessed like the person that is born again. And sometimes some people are quick to say, but there are unbelievers that are blessed. Some of them even have grace. Some of them even are prosperous and that. David had once won that that way. And the Bible says, he said it at the end of it, that when he knew their hand, he, he behaved himself and believed that it was well with him to even be poor and be a gatekeeper in the house of God than to desire the riches of the wicked because their hand was not always good. You see, Nowadays, because of the uh, availability of internet and connection and technology, you can even hear the way they die and things, some, some things about them. In the past, it may not even be possible. So you, you, you must not envy the wicked. Stay put to the Almighty God and let God settle you. And the Lord will settle you in Jesus' name. So as I said, if you are not yet born again or you have lost your salvation, then you need to retrace yourself back to God so that you can be among the people that are blessed. The people that God will bless, they are the people that fears the Lord. And uh, I want to give that opportunity as we are there now. Your mind is telling you that you need to do something with God concerning your salvation. I want you to close your eyes. Let everyone of us close our eyes and begin to tell the Lord that God I want you to have mercy on me and forgive me. We started the prayers already. I want you to forgive me. I want you to uh, uh, work, uh, wash me with your blood. I want you to give me a new life. I want you to take, make me your child. I want to live and fear the Lord. I want my name to be counted in the list of those that fear the Lord and are blessed. I want my soul to be saved. I want the salvation of my soul. I want to genuinely be a child of God. I want my name to be written in the book of life, in the Lamb's book of life. And as you pray that prayer, the Lord is listening, is forgiving you, telling that the blood of Jesus will wash you and make you clean. 
in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Almighty Father, we are grateful for as many who have taken time to pray to you and say, Lord, I want forgiveness. I want pardon. I want to be sure of my salvation. I've done things that my conscience and mind is condemning me about. I want you to forgive me and write my name in the book of life. I want you to make me your child. Father, I pray for such. Forgive them their sins in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life and give them a new life, an entirely new life in the name of Jesus. Let them have experience of salvation and let them have encounter that will lead to a new life in Christ in the name of Jesus. I bless you, Lord, because I believe you have heard and you have answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. A louder amen where you are. Amen. Yes, we may not necessarily put on our, our, our uh, mic. I mean, we better remain muted. But where you are, I want you to be saying amen. I want you to be praying the prayers. I want you to be making the confessions because we are now in the moment of prayer. I believe the Lord we hear and I believe the Lord we answer because like, according to the theme that we found in the book of First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 9, it says, let them marry. Now, I should quickly uh, say this, that this prayer is not only for the single brothers and sisters. Yeah, if you are married, if you are parents and all of that, I want to tell you that this prayer it's for everyone, just everyone. In fact, uh, by the grace of God, from next month, we are going to even make it broader so that everyone can be participating. We will not only be limiting it to the singles, we will, limit, we will make it for everybody so that even people that are not probably in the group that are interested can also become part of the prayer because the Bible says, call on to me and I will answer thee. Jesus says, he said, men ought always to pray and not to fail. And he gave a parable, a parable. He dedicated a whole parable to explain and to support that, that message that he passed that across. That that he passed across. So, prayer is very important. So we should not be limited to the singles on the platform. Although the target of the group is not the singles, it should be for everybody. And I want to tell you, there are packages coming. We are blessed every month. And by the grace of God, as we pray tonight, everyone present will domesticate the prayer to your own side. For example, mm -hmm. if we mention, mention Mary, there's a way you will domesticate it and make it apply to what we are praying about. Although we, I'm, I will try and be saying all those things. But... There is something I, I, I need to say as we pray. Have faith in God as you pray, that God will answer your prayer. There are some people that pray, but they don't believe in the words of their prayer. They don't believe that they are praying. They, are praying. they believe that God will answer my prayer. But they don't I believe God will answer your prayer. I believe you will answer my prayer. That I believe you answer Lord, my prayer. You will answer my prayer. Lord, I believe you will answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Lord, I, I believe you will answer my prayer. I know that I'm my prayer. talking to you this night. I know. I am sure that you are ready to lift my voice. Show you are ready to hear my voice. That what I will tell you to do. And the Lord has you. you know, it's ever ready, and He will do it in Jesus' name. Now, brethren, all our brethren that are looking for their better half, I am praying that as we pray this prayer now, wheresoever your better half is, that person that God has created for you, just as God created Eve for Abraham, sorry, for Adam, and He created Adam for Eve. Today, by the mercy of the Lord, the hand of God that passed the right thing, that hand 
will bring your better half to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And of God. Say it wherever you are. Say, and of God. And of Look God. A better half. And draw him closer to, him, to me in and Jesus. That bring me in Jesus. of God. Locate my better half and draw him to me in the name of Jesus. And of God. The mighty hand of God. The powerful hand of God. Locate my better half and draw him close to me in the name of Jesus. Maybe you need a better power. Maybe you need a miracle. Maybe you need maybe you need uh, children. No. Maybe you need, uh, blessing. The hand of God. Locate my blessing and drag my blessing to me. Oh hand of God. Locate and drag it to me in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm so sorry. There's someone that I'm hearing the voice. I I want you to please mute so that uh, 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 it will help our communication better. God bless you. I've seen that that person has quickly done that. You see, like I said, domesticate the prayer to to apply to your own need. When I say hand of God. Locate my, my better half and bring him to me or bring her to me. You don't need a better partner, a better half. You might need children. You might need money. Locate the money I need and bring it to me. You see, there's, there's anything you need. Just let the prayer pattern it and doctor it to apply to your own need. And I am sure, as we have said it, God will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. You will repeat that prayer one more time. Because the hand of God reaches everywhere and reaches everyone. There is no one that the hand of God cannot touch. There is no one that the hand of God cannot reach. There is no way that the hand of God cannot get to. I pray for everyone that Praise this prayer. The hand of God will go out on your behalf in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will go out and do what it will do to make you happy in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say it again. Hand of God, locate my better half and bring him or bring her to me in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus and of the almighty God. The hand that is powerful. The hand that reaches every hand that reaches everywhere. Hand of God. Locate my miracle and bring my miracle to me. Hand of God. Locate the breakthrough and bring my breakthrough for me. Whatsoever it is. Hand of God. Locate my my better half bring to me from the east, from the west, from the from the south, anywhere he is. Maybe that person you have even prayed and you have seen him or you have seen her, but the person has not agreed. Maybe I proposed the person, and, but you are sure from the leading of God, it's not a lie that, that the person is who God is leading to you to. I want you to pray the prayer hand of God. Locate this my partner. And bring him to me. Look at this partner. Look at her and bring her to me. In the name of Jesus and of God, search him out. Search our house. Bring him to me. Bring him to me without delay. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, mighty name we have prayed i want you to pray this next prayer because there are times brethren there are times that even when someone has everything he needs to marry but because of bondages because of yokes you see those things will become a battle i want you to pray powers making my marriage a battle 
I break you into pieces in the name of Jesus. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Say powers, making my marriage a battle. Making my marriage, the, the marriage has almost become a battle that you are now fighting. Why is it that I, do, I must not marry? Why is marriage becoming a problem to me? Powers making my marriage a battle. I break you to pieces in the name of Jesus. I break you to pieces in the name of Jesus. Even if you are married, pray that prayer. Powers that want to make my marriage in my husband's house or in the in with my wife a battle, I break you to pieces by the power in the name of Jesus. I break you to pieces today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you that power that want to make my marriage a battle, that want to make my marriage a battle, in the name of Jesus, I break you into pieces. In the name of Jesus, I break you into pieces. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I pray for you if you believe and you say amen. Your marriage will not be a battle in Jesus' name. And if you are there, maybe you are not. You have to now see from what you have observed. You have observed that your marriage is a battle. Is the, 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 your marriage to your husband is like a battle. Almost every time there will be one misunderstanding or the other. You are even questioning: Did God really lead me to this man? Is this the woman I should have married? Have I not made a mistake? But before now, when you received the leading, you were very sure. Even if you were told by a prophet that you should not marry that person, you might not have believed. Why? Because you were sure of the leading of God. But as it is now, things have changed. Ah, that power that wants to make your marriage a battle, that power be released from it now in Jesus' name. I want you to pray that prayer again. Say, in the name of Jesus. I want you to say it again. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say it for the last time. Say, in the name of Jesus, power that want to make my marriage a battle, I will not agree with you. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Don't agree with those powers. Pray in the name of Jesus. Don't agree with those powers. Powers that want to make my marriage a battle. Maybe your marriage is even fine and things are going on now. This prayer, still pray it. This prayer, still pray it. This prayer, stay hardy to your prayer so that when things start to happen later, God will answer this prayer on your behalf. Powers that want to make my, my marriage a battle or powers that has made my marriage a battle. I disagree with you. I will not agree with you. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you. I refuse that my marriage should be a battle. I refuse that my marriage should be a battle. I destroy you. I destroy you in my marital life. I destroy you in my marriage program. I destroy you in my marriage process. I destroy you by the power in the name of Jesus. Brethren, pray in a way that that power will be destroyed tonight. Pray in a way that that power will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. This one is for the singles. But if you are not a single, apply it. Apply. Like I said, the next time we're going to be praying, God helping us, uh, we are not going to be limiting it to the single. Prayer will be general. I want you to just pray this prayer. Say, power saying no. To my marriage, I command you, disappear in the name of Jesus. You understand? Amen? Let me explain something. You see, there's a way that things work. Everything has the way they work. Day and night has their way they work. Companies have the way they work. Each of them. Birds and the other's nature, they have the way they work. So the way marriage works, is also, it also has its own part, its own part and the way it works out. But if there is a power that is standing and saying no to someone's marriage, even if the things are to be working, you see, there will be obstruction. Now, like I said, things have the way, they, the normal way they work. But there are times that you see that those things will will be changed somehow 
because of some causes. I'm not talking of uh, curses of uh, that you have to break. I'm talking of because of some reasons they will just be changed. Sometimes in some countries you will see that there are time zones where we we are just by by an hour. Maybe they are six six hours different from a particular country before, at a certain time they will go to seven hours. There's an adjustment. There's something that is the nature, the, the, the natural course of working is, is now affected. You see, there are some companies that they have their normal work, but sometimes some things will happen that will affect their work. Maybe in some, maybe there's a riot, maybe there's a government policy. And so you see, it will just happen. So, the same thing, marriage should work. There's a way it should work. It's the plan of God. From the Genesis, God has said it, that is there should be marriage. A man should leave his mother and father and be married to his wife. He brought Eve to Adam and gave it out to him. That's the way he does. That's the way he leads people. That's the way he connects the man and the woman in marriage. But you see, there are times that the natural thing does not just work out. Why will it not work out? Because there may be power saying no. But I pray as we pray this test prayer, any power saying no to your marriage will be arrested and disappear in the name of Jesus. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. Say it with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it with power in your voice. In the name of Jesus. Power saying no to my marriage. I command you, disappear in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Let that power disappear. Let that power disappear. Like I said, maybe there's a government policy. Maybe somebody just comes in and cancels the policy. It disappears. Maybe there's a, something. So maybe a, a, another season will come, and that season will cancel that time adjustment, and the thing will disappear. I want you to pray because this is your time. Power saying no to my marriage or power saying no to joy in my marriage if you are married. Power saying no to children in my marriage if you are not having children. Power saying no to prosperity in my marriage if you are yet to have prosperity in your marriage. I want you to pray disappear in the name of Jesus. Disappear by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. See, as I was preparing for this program, uh, the Lord ministered to me of someone, and I don't know who the person is, but, you know, by God's grace, that's the way God does when I handle programs, either online or offline, like that, in physical places too. So the ministration is that there's somebody in this program that, that is listening to the voice, that, that is listening to me, that in your family, all the girls there, even the ones that senior you, they've not been able to succeed in marrying anyone, the females there. Now, you in particular, twice you have, taking somebody home to your parents and they were happy that finally this girl her home is coming through. You have taken somebody to the house that they will marry this person. Introduction. But after the introduction, things failed. Then some, after some time again, you were able to secure another person through prayer, through counseling and all that. You took that person home again. After the introduction, everything failed again. Now you are discouraged, you are frustrated. You are even ashamed, greatly ashamed to talk about marriage again or to go, you don't have the courage to go to your home again and tell your parents that I've seen another person. You, the shame and everything is just there. And only some very close friend of yours are the ones encouraging you that keep praying. You say you are tired of praying because even if I pray and I pray through, how am I sure it will not happen? How will I even take that person to my parent? I don't even know. So I, you are confused. But the Bible, the, the, the Lord said that your time of change has come. 
after this night, the, 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 the powers that are arranging that evil among the children of your parents so much that none of the girls has succeeded in mind, that power will lose its authority over your life. And by extension, everyone that is affected will be loosed and released in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I want you to pray this prayer, this prayer very well. Um, I want you to say, crosses of marital challenges in my bloodline. I break you violently in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Causes of marital challenges in my bloodline. I break you violently in the name of Jesus. I want you to break it. Break it. I break you. Causes of marital challenges in my bloodline. I break you to pieces. I break you with violence. I break you with violence. I break you with violence. Break it. Break it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Say, I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. You will not survive this prayer I am praying. I break you violently. I break you violently by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. When there is a curse of such, curses of marital challenges, and that curse is not broken, it will be difficult for, for any one another cause to get married. In fact, in some cases, if the power they eventually relented and they allowed them to marry, they won't enjoy that marriage. That marriage will be better than not to marry. Sorry, that not be not marrying will be better than that marriage. The person will be saying, if I knew, I would have remained the way I was. The frustration then, although there was frustration, is nothing to be compared with what I'm facing now. I am just tired. I am just tired and frustrated. I pray for you. Your marriage will not be a frustration in the name of Jesus. And if your marriage has been a frustration, I command that frustration, no matter the power behind it, to vanish now in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer again. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. Say the rest, say in the name of Jesus. Curses of marital challenges in my family. Break in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Curses of marital challenges in my family, among the children of my parents, over in the life of the daughters of my parents, in the life of the girls in my family. I break you in the lives of the boys in my family, in the lives of everyone in my family. I break you. I break you violently. I break you violently in the name of Jesus. I break you without mercy in the name of Jesus. You curse of marital challenges that is fighting anyone in my family. I destroy you. I break you. I scatter you. I destroy you. I break you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. To be sure you are not sleeping, I want you to unmute and say amen so that I can hear you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 I can, see, amen. I can, I can yeah. see that you are not sleeping. I can see that you are not sleeping. That mouth you have used to shout amen, very soon, you will use it to say I do to someone in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Yay. All right, you can, you can mute back while we continue the prayer. Okay, before you mute, I believe you are praying. Are you are you praying? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. yes. God bless you. So you can you can mute your mic back so that we can continue. You can continue. That person whose case I've just mentioned. 
anywhere you are. You don't need to show your face in the program. You don't need to show your face or show your video anywhere you are. I just want you to put your hand on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this daughter of Zion. The Bible says, shall the prey be taken from the hand of the mighty mm. or shall the lawful captive be delivered? In our says also, say, thus said the Lord of hosts, even the captive of the terrible shall be taken, even the prey of the terrible shall be taken away and the lawful captive delivered. Even though they have called you a lawful captive because of that course running in your family, I stand on the rock of Egypt today. I break that course of marital challenge. She's running in the bloodline in Jesus' name. I break it in Jesus' name. I break it in Jesus' name. I break it by the power in the name of Jesus. I lose you and all the members of your family from that course right now by the authority in the name of Jesus. Because you connected and you believed, I decree over your life, be free because it is written, if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Be free indeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. We are still praying. We are still praying. I want you to pray this next prayer. You see? Bone of my bone. Say that. No, no, no. Please, uh, if you are still, if you still need to mute, please do. I believe you are praying. At least from the response I got from all of us, I believe you are praying. Bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh, locate me miraculously in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, locate me in the name of Jesus. If you are here, you are not looking for marriage, you are not looking for a partner. What are you looking for? Maybe you are looking for a child. Children that I am looking for, locate me in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are looking for a couple. That contract that I am looking for, locate me in the name of Jesus. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are looking for a job. You are looking for employment. Employment I'm looking for. That job I am looking for. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh, for us, this is for you. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, locate me in the name of Jesus. Locate me miraculously. Look at me miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at me miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at me miraculously in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Now the prayer continues. Amen. I want you to pray that the Holy Spirit will release you from marital delay. You see, there's, there are some people that it's not that they are caused, they are caused or something or something, or something, but one way or the other, their lifestyle, their, the, the way they, they, they grew up and has, has become a yoke to them. And that yoke is the yoke of marital delay. Even themselves, they are, they are trying to break some attitude, but they are not even able to successfully do it. Because of that marital delay is a yoke. But wheresoever that yoke has come from, that yoke will break by the anointing in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout, Holy Ghost, release me from marital delay in the name of Jesus. From marital delay in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, 
Holy Ghost, release me, release me, release me, release me, release me from marital delay, release me from marital delay, I want to marry, release me from marital delay. Holy Ghost, I want to marry the boy of my body, the fruit of my flesh, the man you have prepared for me, the woman you have created for me. Holy Ghost, release me from my delay, release me from marital delay, release me from marital delay. In the name of Jesus. Now pray, I detach myself from every yoke of marital delay. In the name of Jesus. I detach myself. I detach myself from every attachment of marital delay. The power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. Mm-hmm. If you are, this one does not affect everybody. It doesn't affect everybody. But if it does affect you, I want you to pray it very well. But everybody should pray it. The people that are affected more about this prayer were the people that you have heard, maybe directly or indirectly from your parents or from other people that your parents also had delay before they married. Maybe your father, you look at the, the, the age bracket between your dad and your mom, you can you can tell that uh, your dad had delay before he married. Or you looked at, you, you calculated, you looked at the age of your mom and the age of your firstborn, I mean, the, the first child in, in of your mom or your dad, you can tell that uh, for my mom, for my firstborn to be of this age, and for mommy to be this age, that means that mommy must have married around late thirties. Or so you you can tell that there was delay in your parents' marriage. I want you to pray, everybody, but especially those people. Say in the name of Jesus. Yes, say it very well with fire in your voice. In the name of Jesus, inherited marital delay. On my head, I break you in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Inherited marital delay. On my life, I break you away in the name of Jesus. I refuse to carry you with the yoke. The, the, I re- refuse to carry you like my mother carried you. I refuse to carry you like my father carried you. I refuse to inherit you from my mother. I refuse to inherit you from my father. I break you away from my life. I break you violently from my life. I break you with all my might from my life. I break you with all my power from my life, break away from my life, break away from my head, break away from my destiny. I refuse you, I reject you. Inherited marital delay that want to also visit my life and, uh, and walk in my life. My life is not available for you. My life is not available for you. My life rejects you in the name of Jesus. Maybe yours is not married, but you can notice some things in the life of your parent happening in your life too that are negative. Pray and say, I am my life is not available for you. My life is not available for sickness that kill that affect that my parents suffered from. My life is not available for the poverty that my parents suffered from. I break you from my life violently. I break you from my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, checking my time, I can begin to feel that I have around uh, 11 minutes more so that we can hand around quarter past one. Let me rush up a few prayer points. Let me rush up a few prayer points. Uh, this prayer is just like the one we have prayed, but this one is for general. The other one was specifically for, pay, for people that I mentioned, but this one is a general one. And I want everybody to pray it because it will be your portion as you pray it in the name of Jesus. I want you to say problems that happened in my father's marriage. Problems that happened in my mother's marriage. Problems that happened in my parents' marriage. You cannot happen in my marriage. 
I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Problems that happen in my father's marriage. Problems that happen in my mother's marriage. Problems that happen in my parents' marriage. I cancel you in my marriage in the name of Jesus. Issues that happen in the marriage of, if you are married now, if you are married, you need to pray this way. Issues that happen in the marriage of my husband's parents or in the marriage of my wife's parents, you cannot happen in our own marriage. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. If you know those problems, begin to mention them. Maybe the problem of fighting, maybe the problem of misunderstanding, maybe the problem of delaying childbirth, maybe the problem of poverty, maybe the problem of problematic children. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. Problem that happened in the marriage of my daddy, in the, in the marriage of my mommy, in the marriage of my parents. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. You cannot happen in my marriage problem that happened in the marriage of my wife's dad, of my wife's mom, of my wife's parents. You cannot ma- happen in our marriage. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. <laughs> Powers commanding me to marry my enemy. That's the next prayer point. You see, there are some people, there are some powers commanding them to marry their enemy. So is the enemy they will be seen as the will of God. They will do, they don't know that that person is their enemy. It's until they eventually marry that person that they will now begin to face problems that they never bargained for in their life. They, they, they will look at themselves and say, so I, am I the one that made such a mistake to marry this person? By the time the person begins to show his color or color, a true color is true color because there was a power that commanded them to marry their enemy. I prophesy into your life. If you have not married yet, you will not marry your enemy in the name of Jesus. And if you have, for one reason or the other, marriage your enemy. I decree by the power that consists and that exists in the name of Jesus, the Lord will turn your enemy to a friend in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, oh Lord, I refuse to marry my enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now you will pray the prayer now. Say, Powers commanding me to marry my enemy. I refuse your command in the name of Jesus. Be wasted away. Be wasted away. Be wasted away. Powers commanding me to marry my enemy. Be wasted away. Be wasted away today by the power in the name of Jesus. I will not marry my enemy. I will not marry my enemy. Powers commanding me to marry my enemy. I will not marry my enemy. Be wasted by fire. Be wasted by the fire of God. Be wasted by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's pray like two or three more. Strong man. Say that. Strong man. Say it again. Strong man. Standing against my marriage. I bind you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we should bind the strong man so that we can spoil his good. Strong man, standing against my marriage, I bind you. I bind you. I bind you by the power in the name of Jesus. I bind you hand and foot. I bind you neck and legs. I bind you with the chains of God, with the chains of heaven, with the mighty everlasting chains. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Where is that strong man? Who is that strong man? Say you strong man. Standing against my marriage, I bind you wherever you have come from. Whosoever has given you the authority, whosoever has given you the the, 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 the platform of operation, I bind you, no matter your legal ground in my life. I bind you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we have prayed i want you to say powers chasing away my future partner powers chasing away my future partner or powers chasing away my husband from me powers chasing away my wife from me i command you catch fire now in the name of jesus pray in the name of jesus powers chasing my wife away from me powers chasing my husband away from me catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you may not be married you not be a man you not be a woman maybe powers chasing my prosperity away from me or powers chasing away my breakthrough from me powers chasing away my blessing from me powers chasing away my testimony from me i command i command you to catch fire in jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we have prayed now i i, I want you to unmute i want you to unmute and uh, give me some response you know Brethren, there are some breakthroughs that will make your marriage, your, your marriage to happen without delay. You understand? And what makes you a sudden millionaire? By the time it makes you a sudden millionaire and gives you some powerful testimonies that, that, that comes up on the internet, you see, all the people that have been, that, that have been running away from you are all the people that have been running from me as a brother, you come and they sit you and to the marriage committee. They will tell your partner that they have seen you that you are not the person they want to It will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll this last prayer before I round off. Sorry, you can mute back and praise it back there. You say, go through that we make my marriage to happen very easy. Happen in my life. In the name of Jesus, break through that we make my marriage to happen very easily. Happen in my life. Happen in my life. Happen in my life. In the name of Jesus. Mighty breakthrough. Glorious breakthrough. Serious breakthrough that will make my marriage to happen very easily, very easily and very urgently happen in my life. In the name of Jesus, wheresoever you are, you that breakthrough, I command you to happen in my life. In the name of Jesus, breakthrough that will make my marriage to happen very soon and very easily. Happen in my life, in the name of Jesus. Happen in my life, in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough that will make my marriage to happen very soon and very easily. Happen in my life, happen in my life. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Let's worship the name of the Lord and the Lord God's name, the Lord God has answered our prayers. Uh, we will not be able to go further, although there are prayers to be prayed, but we want to end now. The words we have prayed, God has answered, give him the glory. Just worship him, exalt him, tell him that, Lord, I just praise your name. I glorify you because some things will happen, especially in my life, suddenly in my life. Mercifully, my life, I bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Almighty Jesus, we glorify your name. We praise your name for the time we spend together. I thank you for all our brethren, all these brothers, all the sisters in the Zoom and in other uh, platforms. Glory be to your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for everyone that has been dis that has been disappearing from the bone of their bone and the flesh of their flesh by the power of the most high god i command you to appear to the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh in jesus name garment of invisibility 
that is always covering you so that it's as if you are invisible to the person that should marry you. But surprisingly, you are also visible to the right, to the wrong people. That's why when anyone comes to seek your hand in marriage, you are wondering why is it all this kind of wrong people that are coming? Why is it the wrong people that are coming? Powers making you to be visible to the wrong people, but be invisible to the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. I command that power to disappear from your life now in Jesus' name. I decree any garment they used to cover you so that the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh will not locate you. Let that garment tear to pieces now in the name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, he said, as I prophesied, there was a shaking. And the bones located their bones. Now, I am the prophet that will prophesy like Ezekiel prophesied that day, today. Father, I prophesy to everyone here. In the name of Jesus, as I prophesy now, bone, locate your bone in the name of Jesus. Bone, locate your bone in the name of Jesus. I prophesy like Ezekiel. Bone, locate your bone in the name of Jesus. Every curse that is making your marriage a battle, I break that curse in your life in Jesus' name. I destroy every platform that is making your marriage a battle in your life in Jesus' name. I now pray for you that the breakthrough that will happen and will make your marriage to happen very soon and very easily. Let that breakthrough locate you in Jesus' name. Let that breakthrough locate you in Jesus' name. I command your way to marriage to open. Everyone else that has joined, asking for one thing or the other, where whoever the Almighty God has heard your voice that you have prayed to him today. Let him give answer to you over there in Jesus' name. I decree for you also that other requests that have been tabled before the Lord, that is not about marriage, maybe other, other things, the Almighty God grant those petitions in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that by the power that consists and that exists in the name of Jesus, none of us will miss heaven at last, but we shall make it in, the, in Jesus' name. We are not candidates of hellfire. We are citizens of the kingdom. Therefore, we shall get to heaven at last in Jesus' name. I believe you have heard us. I thank you because you have answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We have to shout a very powerful amen now in Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. Our our moderators. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother Pastor Yemi. God bless you and replenish your, your strength, all the oil that has gone out of you. May the Lord fill you and fill you and fill you, and there will be no space again in Jesus' name. I pray that Amen. in every aspect of your life, you will not be missing. You will never be found in your family, in your home. Everything that you're praying about, the Lord will remember you for the Lord will crown all your efforts with great reward in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much for Amen. honoring us and for coming to lead us in this session of prayer. For every one of us that has waited for this prayer, I pray that everything that you have presented to God, everything that you have laid at, at the feet of the cross, the Lord is going to give you much more than what you ask and desire. 
you are waiting for your partner. You have prayed, prayed and prayed. And it seems like it's not happening. My sister don't despair. My brother don't despair. I can tell you that prayers always come with results. God has a way of making divine connections. And I pray in your own life, you would you will connect with your partner divinely when you least expect it in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep holding on. Don't despair. Don't be discouraged. Don't be pushed to do what you don't want to do. The devil will say many things to you. My brother, my sister, hold on to Christ. Job said, I know whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded that that which I've committed to God will fulfill everything that he has, you have committed to him. He will put a smile on your lips. I know somebody who waited for more than three years to join their partner. And it was like as if it did not happen. People made fun of this person. But today, to God be the glory, this person has joined their partner abroad. And I'm prophesying to you, brother and sister, your partner, wherever they are located in the world, in the East, in the West, in Asia, in America, in South America, in Africa, wherever they are, it's the bone of your bone. The Lord will surprise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't lose hope. God bless you. And every other concern that we have, we're going to be bringing them to the Lord. And we will share testimony on this group, in this space, in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you very much for staying with us. Pray again and again. You can always go back to it. And pick those prayer points and continue to say to the Lord. The Bible says, bring forth your strong reasons. Don't forget, bring forth your strong reasons to the Lord. And heaven will hear, answer will come in Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. God bless you. Thank you.